ruling, what the majority of the court basically says is that the government hasn't shown that it's likely to prevail on its legal arguments. So what is the legal effect of this? It means that an order imposed by a judge in Seattle remains on the books. The government is still barred from enforcing the Trump executive order on travel from those seven countries into the United States. The government had said before that if this would be the outcome in the Court of Appeals, it would almost certainly ask the Supreme Court to do what the appeals court wouldn't do, which is to say allow the government to enforce the travel restrictions. So I would expect, Lester, that within 24 hours or so, perhaps by next morning, the government will go to the Supreme Court and renew its request to try to get this order put on hold so that it can enforce the travel restrictions. Uh, we have not been able to read the, the uh, 28 pages here. They just came out within the last minute. But basically they say the government has not shown that it would, uh, it, it has not shown irreparable injury. Now that's court talk for uh, the government hasn't shown that by leaving this temporary ban in effect, the national security would be that much damaged. That had been the crux of the argument here. The government had said that only the president can make these determinations, and when he does about the danger of letting people in from those countries, that can't be reviewed by a court. But clearly this court doesn't buy that, Lester. But this court really had a narrow question to, to, to answer, and it wasn't on the overall legality or lawfulness of this ban. Is that correct? That's right. The, um, uh, although they go into some detail about the uh, arguments here, uh, this is not a simple order. I mean, the simplest way for this would be a one-sentence order that says what the government wants, we're not going to give them. But they go into considerable detail here, and I'm trying to tell. It looks like it's a unanimous opinion among the three judges. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not seeing a dissent here, so um, it, is, it is unanimous. Uh, so so uh, the government goes into, or the, the opinion goes into some detail about why it thinks the government is wrong, it's going to take us a little while to, di to digest this, but uh, 48 hours after that argument, the government loses, and now it has to decide whether to go on to the Supreme Court, Lester. All right, Pete Williams of the White House digesting this along with the rest of us. Let's go there now. Hallie Jackson standing by. Hallie, what are you hearing from there? At least not yet from the White House, but we do expect something likely later on tonight as the White House as all of us are doing, take a look at this order. Hey, Bob, I uh, can't hear how it and give some kind of a reaction. We know that the president has not been shy about speaking his mind about the federal judge, James Robart, who put this stay in place, nor about the three judge appeals court panel. And so I wouldn't be surprised to potentially see the president weigh in, perhaps on Twitter. I doubt if I had to guess that we would see him in person tonight, Lester. All right, Hallie Jackson at the White House of this ruling again uh, uh, against the government here on the travel ban from the uh, Court of Appeals here in California. We're going to have all the latest developments coming up on NBC Nightly News. In fact, we go up here in the, in the, uh, on the East Coast and Central Time Zone about 15 minutes. We'll have full coverage of this breaking story. For now, I'm Lester Holt, NBC News, Los Angeles.